Well, designs are coming along for the new Flagler Beach Pier. The iconic wooden pier has been battered by storms over the last decade. Hurricane damage in 2022 pushing the city to close it. Now the city says they are going to build a taller and tougher one to withstand storms. New 6's Molly Reed shows us what it could look like. Built in 1928, Flagler Beach's iconic wooden pier is much shorter now than when originally built. Matthew took 160 feet of it in 2016, and Ian last fall took another 120 feet, forcing the city to close it. We're tired of opening and closing this pier, uh, and we want to keep it open uh, to the public and, and have them enjoy it. And that's why city manager William Whitson says it's time for a new one. These are the first designs presented to the city by the engineering firm Mofa and Nickel. We're only going to tie into the uh, as much of the history as we can. Whitson says it will be built with concrete and instead of wood. They will keep the A-frame in first 100 feet of the historic pier. The new pier will also be about 10 feet taller and 5 feet wider. We're going to push to go out to the original 800 feet. Uh, we're going to try for a T or an octagon on the end to be more storm resistant. We're going to make it a little bit wider, more of an event space. So it says they hope to get the work started next year and have it ready for use by 2025. But first, in order to demolish this one, they're going to have to build a temporary structure alongside it. We want to try to get demolition done this summer so that it clears the way for construction next year. Now the city is working to get final designs and permits. Whitson says it will cost about $18 million. He's working with the state to get funding now, but FEMA will cover the majority. 75, 25, 75% uh, 75 federal, 25% state and local. In Flagler Beach, I'm Molly Reed getting results, New 6. That's going to take a lot of work it, right there. But it looks like it'll be very nice yeah, once it's it done.